My name is Vikas Gaurav and welcome back to my channel called Cognition Learning Center for All. So friend, today I am going to teach you how to explode an assembly part, drawing of exploded assembly, bill of material, auto ballooning and ballooning, root line, sheet size, templates and how to add a sheet to the assembly drawing. So friend, let's first we have to check what are the parts which is inside the assembly. So you can see here. We have a spring, a bearing, spacer bearing and these parts. So now we know all the parts. So let's start with the exploded view. Go to exploded view command here. Regular step. Click this part. Drag this. We have a direction where we need to drag the part so here okay again go to exploded view edit this feature again select the spring drag it from this side same go to this edit feature select the bearing drag this part we can drag the part accordingly like how they are going to assemble so again go to edit feature select the spacer drag this okay nice again go to exploded view edit feature select the other bearing drag this bearing this side okay fine now save this step you can edit the step if you want to edit like a little bit longer a little bit shorter accordingly okay again go to exploded view smart exploded line we can add a smart exploded line so it will appear like this but sometime we don't need that so did this and we can have a root line from here exploded line sketch we can sketch accordingly as required according to the assembly of the part so select this and this so a line will appear and we can give this a direction also again select this edge and this one so a line will appear like this fine we can give the direction you can see there is a arrow sign so we can click okay fine okay so now it look good exit so now we have a root line it is according to how it is going to assemble in the assembly all the parts fine so again go to exploded view now we have the normal assembly fine so now go to file new drawing so now we are going to make the drawing for this exploded view select a3 size okay fine now browse this select the view which we wanted to appear on the drawing okay okay this look good so now we can change the scale it is too small here so use custom scale so now you can drag and drop one is to one drag and select one is to do is fine okay so now go to section view now we can have a section at this point okay fine so we have a section a okay standard view sorry 
go to view model so now we have a isometric view again change the scale custom 1 is to 2 now it should look good fine adjust this views on the sheet accordingly fine now save this drawing in a particular folder okay now go to table bill of material select the base assembly on the drawing sheet now check this all are good look good fine one right okay it's look good now okay fine now we have a bill of material there are six part in this assembly it's look good we have a hub bearing spacer ball bearing now we can also change uh, this part as custom property here like we have a some option here so whatever you want to put in the bill of material we can have it there so like this okay fine save this okay fine now we can see here uh, in the section view like we don't cut the hardware part so we need to uh, remove this section of the hardware like spring and nut and bolt so here in the property we can have this section scope the following of the component feature will be excluded from the section not okay select this fine okay now this spring looks original no section of this spring fine now go to auto ballooning select this base so it will appear so it is very easy step for the assembly to give an ballooning to an, any assembly like it will appear all the ballooning number accordingly but sometimes it is not feasible to select the auto ballooning because it will appear different position and different types so sometimes we need to uh, go for a simple ballooning so in this property we can also link this assembly with the balloon okay fine so we need to delete this so we can customize the ballooning according to the space available on the sheet and all so select ballooning and we can have uh, we can give the balloon balloon to this part in the isometric view also in this view also section view also and we can arrange it accordingly select this also with the other part okay spacer right this also clip okay fine okay all are there on the balloon according to the bill of material save this drawing so now it's look good so as you can see you can also add the seat from here seat addition right seat 2 you can also go to property and we can have seat size select a0 a1 a3 a4 like this according to the like select this and you can check okay it is changed so now you can go and go back to the same property and select a3 okay now it is perfect for this assembly now this is smaller one so select custom 1 is to 2 okay now it's fine we can adjust the balloon accordingly 
की no, Go to seat one, go to property. We can change the template from here so we can browse it and we can give the path to this. You can also name the seat from here, also rename it whatever you wanted. This look good, custom seat size. Okay, so you can browse it which template you wanted to give or which seat format you wanted to give. Okay, fine. Great. So, hope you like this video. So, please uh, like, share, comment and please do share with your friends and family because this is very good video for a technical point of view because in the industrial manufacturing as a design engineer it is very uh, good to know how to change the seat, seat size, template and how to balloon, how to explode as an assembly. So hope friend you like this video and please 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 do share this video. Thank you very much. Thank you.